everything fine? Got my taste. Hey guys, it's Evie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to get this nice cinema out. I'm literally running out. I'm filming, which is a uh, probably quite shocking. I haven't filmed a video since literally November, which makes me really sad because it's now the 1st of January. Happy New Year, by the way. I have spoken about it a little bit on my Instagram. If you aren't following me on there, it's just Evie Ellen if you wanna follow me on there as well. I have just been lacking in inspiration and motivation to film YouTube videos and I would hate to upload something when I know full well that like when I was filming it, like wasn't enjoying filming it and didn't have the like motivation to film it do you know what i mean so i've literally just given myself a bit of a break and i'm just gonna try and work through this just upload when i feel inspiration because i do love uploading youtube videos i've done it for years it's such a big part of me that sounds really dramatic but it's such a big part of me so i do want to definitely upload more basically the time's come where i have coronavirus i went almost two years without getting it. Hopefully I didn't get it and then not know about it, but you know, that's common as well. On Monday, I came home. I feel so bad because I was out the whole day because obviously I had no clue. I am really, really careful when I go out anyway. Like I wear, like I follow all the rules, wear a mask when I need to wear a mask. The cases are so high at the moment, it was kind of inevitable. So I really hope that I didn't give it to anyone. I was testing negative last week. And then on Monday I did a lateral flow and it was positive and when i tell you it went positive in like four minutes and i was so stressed <laughs> so i had to tell my family obviously i share a room with my sister and there's not really anywhere else she can go so she is still sleeping in the same room as me our room is so long as you can see she stays all the way down her end i stay all the way down my end and i wear a mask on when she's in the room obviously and the window's been open now for days it's saturday now none of my family have tested positive which is great i did a pcr the other day i should get the results maybe today we will see but yeah my family have gone out on the 1st of january they usually go to like a museum in london and so they're doing that today but obviously i can't come they are vaccinated by the way so because they're testing negative they're still allowed to go out hence why i'm not wearing a mask or anything no one's in the house and obviously i'm doing my skincare right now so i can't really wear a mask for my skincare the weird thing is i have no symptoms zero symptoms but apparently like 40 percent of people are asymptomatic so but it's good that i did a test because otherwise i would literally be going out with covid and not even know that's why you take your lateral flow test i'm in day i think i don't know if monday is the day included in isolation i think it might be i'm either on day six or five of isolation i've been working quite a bit recently like near the christmas period and stuff that's probably where i got picked up the covid because so many people come into the shop without masks on and it, it infuriates me if you're exempt absolutely fine people who just walk in not wearing a mask and i get so scared to ask them to put one on because i'm scared they're gonna like beat me up but i need to stop being so soft that's new year's resolution i'm too soft this clip is eight minutes long so good luck evie editing that's my little covid update i thought that it would be a really nice idea if i vlogged a day and i thought new year's day because it's like i'm gonna show you how i'm spending new year's day in isolation i'm gonna try and have a nice day and i thought i'd take you along with me for new year's eve yesterday i did do a zoom call with some of my friends which was really really nice because we were all gonna meet but obviously literally i tested positive one of my friends melissa tested positive bethany's just tested positive there are a few like family friends and stuff i know that have just tested positive it is going around so stay safe please do you want to see my positive test maybe i should do a thumbnail picture with my positive test look at that it's kind of awkward i am gonna wear a mask where i can even though no one's in the house but obviously my sister is in this room as well so i don't want to like breathe everywhere although it's all the way over there and the window's open the a mask literally doesn't bother me that much i literally wore one for most of the night last night <laughs> don't know if that's good by the way don't know if i recommend that let's spend the day together because i missed you hopefully you missed me i actually got a really lovely message on my instagram the other day of someone who was basically asking about the fact i hadn't posted on youtube and the fact that like people notice like that's just really really sweet and everyone is so so sweet and understanding about like the lack of 
motivation I've been feeling. So I really, really appreciate that. I got this gratitude journal to start 2022 with from Amazon. I've already done two days in it. It basically asks you different questions every day that make you practice being grateful. You write the date, it gives you like affirmations and quotes. I've really, really been liking it so far. So definitely gonna fill that in today. I've been trying to do a lot more like self growth things and things that I know are gonna be good for my soul. Do you know what I mean? Like I need to do some self growth. So yesterday I did some cleaning out. I now have all of my makeup in this drawer and my skincare, which I feel like looks really, really cool. I've done reading as well, because reading is good for me. I'm trying to cut down my screen time. That is one of my new year's resolutions. This clip is almost 15 minutes long. I'm gonna play on my DS. It's got anti-back spray in it. <laughs> um, my room is also so messy because I've obviously just been in it for the past five days. So I've been slowly cleaning it. Let's pop a mask on. I love my DS. It gives me so much nostalgia. I've been wanting the Urban Outfitters cargoes for a really long time. And I've been trying to find them secondhand because I prefer buying things secondhand, but people are just honestly just selling them for more or they're like not my size or anything. So I ended up ordering two from the website and if they fit and if I really, really like them, I might keep both. I know I'm terrible. These are the two that I ordered. I'm gonna try them on once I don't have COVID anymore because I don't wanna get COVID on them and then send them back. <laughs> I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, um, or if you don't celebrate it, I hope you had a lovely, I guess, holiday season, December, whatever you celebrate. Got this for Christmas from Helena. It's literally such a pretty jumper. I love it so much. I was meant to go charity shopping on Tuesday with Bethany, and then obviously I tested positive, and I was gonna wear this, so I was really excited. She did FaceTime me while she went charity shopping. This was before she tested positive, by the way. I transferred her for a blue sweater vest that she found. I'm so excited. My fashion in 2022, I wanna post more outfit pictures. That's my New Year's resolution, number one. Let's play my DS. The game that I've been playing is like, I feel like it's such a like unknown game but it is really fun. Oh my gosh, also, I did a 2021 montage. I posted it on Instagram. Am I gonna get copyright? Oh, I'm gonna get copyright so you can watch the rest on my um, TikTok or Instagram. This is the game. It's called Echolus. Echolus. So you have to like defeat the baddies basically, but you have like these animal friends. I've got none of them out the tree yet, but like you have these little animals that fight the baddies for you, but there's so much more to it. I'll see you in a bit. It's currently 9.53 by the way. I'm back, I had a shower. Couldn't really bring you along because that would be slightly, um inappropriate it's now 1207 so i'm just about to have some lunch i might actually my dad bought me some crisps yesterday bless him so i think i'll have some of these with my lunch i've basically been having the same thing every day if i make it by myself it's really quick and easy to make so i'm in and out of the kitchen really quickly it's easy for my family to make as well so it's literally just a cheese sandwich get my veggies in are these veggies or fruits tomatoes i don't know cereal bars and stuff so i'll probably have some of them sorry that a lot of this video is just in my room it's probably quite boring the amount of clips i have of me just trying to adjust to my tripod um is quite excessive there we go i'm gonna put on my jumper because i'm cold again because i'm by the window also have some water and i posted some tiktoks one about basically i saw a girl on tiktok with hate hope i love her content but she did like a clothes i bought versus how i've styled them or like clothes i have versus how i've styled them so if you want to go check that out then you can do i was posted it on my instagram as a reel and then i did a random one i always do that but yeah i'm gonna eat my lunch look bang now time for some journaling i'm doing this every day or at least trying to it's a new year's resolution i did this i didn't spell grateful right
I've actually been reading this book recently, which is called, as you can see, The Secret Barrister. It's actually really interesting. If you're interested in law and stuff, I'm trying to read more. It's one of my New Year's resolutions. I just think that reading is so good for like knowledge, to make you feel more present. It gets me off my phone as well. I do enjoy reading. I think it just, because it requires more concentration, I find that really difficult. I wanna try and get into a habit of reading a little bit every day. We're back. Honestly, I've just been, after I read, I basically just sat on my phone and went on my DS, which is really bad because like I said, I'm trying to get my screen time down. Also, this video must be really weird, me just like talking with a mask on for all of it. Oh my gosh, you haven't seen my new hair yet. It's greasy right now, so it's not gonna do it justice, but I got it done two, just over two weeks ago. I got my highlights redone. It's like such a gorgeous shade of blonde as well. I got it cut pretty short as well. I felt like a bit of a change. Also, I got my fringe bits cut so they're like a little bit thicker, which I love as well. So I'm excited to actually go out again and style my hair. I'm gonna do some more drawings with my um, with my watercolor pens. These are so sick. Let me show you. You get your water. Nobody asked for this tutorial, but you dip it in the water with the watercolor pen. I have these little bits of paper which is specifically meant, I think, for these watercolour pens because it came with them. So I'm going to draw some stuff. I might do loads of different colour hearts on the page because I'm not regular drawing. I'm going to watch you for a while I do so. I did actually buy the whole season one on Amazon Prime. It was like £15, but I've been meaning to do it for a really long time because I just, I want to watch it. just did my evening skincare as you can see my skin's looking very moisturized and i'm just gonna put my hair in a plait but basically i'm trying to get rid of the bumps on my face i think it's comedonal acne i've done some research i think that's what it is so i have done some research on like products and stuff i have so much like skincare that i bought to try and get rid of it <laughs> But I just bought some more stuff from ASOS that is meant to be good for it. So there's like a ordinary azelaic something acid that's probably concerning that I don't know the name, but I'm gonna put it on my face happily. But that's meant to be good. I think my issue has always been I never have like a structured skincare routine. Like I'm just so desperate to get rid of it that like every day I'll just put on different things and then some days I literally won't do skincare at all and some days I'll go really into it and like I just don't think that's gonna work so I'm gonna try and come up with like a structured skincare routine I need to put these clips on my laptop because I'm literally running out of space on this camera now you literally can't see the bumps from here this might be a bit TMI but these are the bumps I'm talking about like here here can you see especially here oh my gosh especially here there's so many bumps and then I have them on my forehead as well but I just fiddle with them so much and I and I don't like how they look under makeup as well. Um, I'm gonna try and sort them out. I'm really sorry that a lot of this video has just been me sitting and talking, but like, like I can't really do much. But I did do my journal earlier. I do have this journal. I got this journal like months ago. The things you fill in for every day. I feel like I should be doing this as well. Honestly, I scroll through TikTok and I'm just like, this is not giving me anything. I might finish the episode of Euphoria I'm on. Oh, I haven't watched Grey's Anatomy as well. I haven't watched that in ages because I've been just watching Euphoria so much. I think I might watch a bit of Grey's Anatomy after I finish Euphoria. What is that green thing? Oh my gosh, is that shine on my nose? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyway, see you in a bit. We're back. My sister's out the room, so I thought I'd take my mask off for the outro. I had some white chocolate orange. This is good. I have never had white chocolate orange before. Tomorrow is technically i think day six of my isolation so i'm gonna do a lateral flow tomorrow i think you just need two consecutive you just need two consecutive <laughs> how do you say consecutive i think you just need two consecutive days negative lateral flow tests beyond day six 
if I do day six and day seven, but one's positive, I can do a day seven and eight. And if they're both negative, then I can leave on day nine. I really, really hope you enjoyed spending the day with me in isolation. What a great video to come back to. I honestly don't know how this is going to turn out, but like genuinely, this is just a typical day of what I did in isolation, completely realistically. Thank you so much for watching and spending the day with me. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Happy New Year. Hope you have a lot of success, good health, happiness in the new year. Um, I love you all loads. If you're watching this, you're very committed because I haven't uploaded in so long. You, a lot of people have probably forgotten about me. But yeah, follow my social media for more content and hopefully I can post more on YouTube when I have inspiration and stuff. But I'll do a whole update video in another video. Good night. Thank you for spending the day with me. Take care.